It opened on a whim. Postino Wine Bar in Arcadia, right off the main road, tucked away in a residential neighborhood. And its success has started a restaurant revolution. Tonight, the story of a local guy and his smart sidekick partner who made drinking wine a sport in this town. It's small, tucked away, and always busy. Postino Arcadia, once a post office, now a popular wine bar. We would walk our dogs by that intersection of 40th Street and Campbell. Just come back from that trip to Italy, so we had this crazy idea to do a wine bar in our neighborhood, and I was sharing with Lauren earlier, there was no big grandiose plan. It was more of it wouldn't it be cool if we had a place to hang out with our friends, where we didn't have to get dressed up. It was inexpensive. A creation of ASU grad and Arizona native Craig DeMarco and his wife Chris, but not everyone was on board initially. We had the largest opposition to a restaurant use permit in the history of the city of Phoenix. They had residential on all four sides and they saw a young couple with a liquor license. They got Postino off the ground in 2001. We ran out of money in the furniture budget, so we brought the couch out of our living room at home down to Postino. The improvising paid off. Postino caught on big. People wanted a cool place to meet up and drink wine. Prove that that demographic was ready for that type of experience. Lauren Bailey came to work for Postino with plans of opening her own restaurant. Craig talked her into being his partner instead. We're like work wife and husband in some ways, or brother and sister, and it, it kind of just works. And it works well. People think we're in the food business. We're really not. We're in the people business. Food, people, and lots of wine. If you look around our restaurants during lunch, there's not, there's very few tables without wine on them. Sipping wine here is a sport. You guys kind of said it's okay. It's come in, you can come in even for an early lunch and have wine. Well, who was behind that? We have a famous bumper sticker that says drinking wine at lunch is not a crime. It's, it's important for everyone to know this $5 deal that we do from 11 to 5 every day has been since day one. It wasn't a promotion. We just decided it was a cultural thing. We wanted people to experiment and enjoy drinking wine responsibly at lunch, and there wasn't no stigma, negative stigma associated with it. Now, this power team of DeMarco and Bailey, along with their spouses, own 11 restaurants under the name Upward Projects. We like repurposing old spaces. And they did that here in North Central Phoenix in a big way, opening five restaurants right next to each other. Postino Central, Joyride, Federal Pizza, Churn, and Windsor. And they opened and thrived during an economic recession, proving that people wanted what Upward Projects had to offer. They were spending a little less money, but they were still coming. People got scared. They wanted to stay closer to home. They wanted to support a local business, and that actually benefited us. So we actually probably maybe even picked up some market share. Even though people were watching their pennies a little tighter, we never really had a scary moment. The newly opened sixth location for Postino in North Scottsdale's Kierlin Commons. It brings Postino closer to many of their Scottsdale customers. Not in the typical historic building, it sits in a former lingerie shop. The irony of that evident in this wall, decorated with pages torn from old Playboy magazines. Lauren had an idea to do a 1960s, 1970s Playboy wall. So she got online and bought stacks and stacks of dated playboys, pardon me, cut them up. They've come a long way from their ASU days. I really wanted to work in restaurants, so I made a fake resume and they actually hired me, shockingly enough. And I just put myself through school working in restaurants. From working in restaurants and bars to pay the rent. The place I worked at, I, I, I defined it, it was kind of a chug and puke place. We take our alcohol service now with a lot of responsibility. We don't want to put anybody on the road in a bad condition. We have young families, we, we care a lot about it. So I definitely got that out of my system when I worked on Mill. They've grown up but not too much. I sit home and count the money and she works her ass off <laughs> all the time. ASU grads, John. Oh yeah, I love it. All four of them. The Lauren and Craig and their and their spouses own these restaurants and they definitely have the Midas touch. If you've been into the restaurants, they're all super popular. DeMarco is also a founding partner in the extremely successful La Grande Orange Grocery, mm -hmm. which has grown into uh, numerous other successful restaurants through Arcadia. So, so Arcadia was really not sure about this whole thing when it started. Isn't well, that interesting? When it opened up, they were like, Ugh, we don't know about this place. And they've really turned that around. I've actually seen homes that have gone for sale in this neighborhood that actually tout were next to Postino. You're kidding. So they've kind wow. of created a really hot spot on the fringes of Arcadia. And, and there's a lot of disposable yeah. income in Arcadia. People who want to spend money, drink a little wine, sure. eat a little food. It's America. I mean, that, a good idea will still find a marketplace, and they did. And they've That's got great. Lots of Very it. interesting.